For this question, we have an inequality. So there's various ways that you could go from this point, but from experience and working with many, 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 many learners, I have picked up that many learners don't like this to be a negative. So what we could maybe do, but you don't have to switch it from a negative, but many learners would like to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide everything by minus one, okay? So that'll become x squared, then plus x, but then this plus two would end up becoming minus two. Now, because we are dividing with a negative, the sign must change. That's important. When you divide with a negative, the inequality sign must change. Inequality sign changes. All right, what you do now is you can factorize this. So we make our two brackets. And so this would be um, x and x, and then there'd be a two and a one. You can also use the quadratic formula if you want. This would end up being a plus and this would end up being a minus. You might have to just pause the video and just make sure you get this as well. And so now where a lot of students go wrong is that they try to go to the next step and then they say x minus one is bigger than zero or x plus two is bigger than zero. That is wrong, okay? You don't wanna do that. What you wanna do is just quickly write this on the side of your paper. You can show the teacher on the side, make it equal to zero, and then just pretend that it was equal to zero like that. So you'd get x equals to one or x equals to negative two. Now those two numbers, we call these the critical values. These two numbers are now gonna go on your number line. So you're gonna draw a number line and from left to right, so the minus two is on the left and the one is on the right. Why? Because minus two is smaller than one. Then what you do is you look at this, or you can look at this one. It doesn't actually matter, but I'm just gonna look at this one. If I look at that, what type of graph is that? Is that a hyperbola, parabola, straight line, exponential? Well, well done if you know that it's a parabola. So it's either gonna go like this or it's gonna go like this. Now you need to know if it's a happy, so like a smiley face, see a smiley face, or a sad face, okay? To know if it's a happy or a sad, you look at this number in the front, okay? If that number is positive, if that number is positive, then it's a smiley face. That's if that's positive. And if that number was a negative, like if we had a negative two, then it is a sad face. So this is gonna be a happy face and the X intercepts are minus two and one. So we can just draw a little graph like that. Let me try that again. All right. Now they would like us to know where is this parabola? Where is this parabola bigger than zero? Where is it bigger than zero? So what that means is above, above the X axis above the x-axis. So if this is your x-axis, they wanna know where is it above. So it's above over here, and it's above over here. So we can say that the answers, I'll show you, um, I'll use the set builder notation method, but then I'll also show you the interval notation method for um, learners who prefer that. So for this area here, you could say x is um, smaller than, but we can also say equal to, um, because they're using smaller than and equal to. Then we can say or, then for this part here, we'd say it's bigger than one. So x must be bigger than or equal to one. If you prefer interval notation, you could say x is an element going from minus infinity up to minus two with a square bracket because it's included. Then you can say or, or if you want, you can use that funny symbol like that. And then you could say that x is going from one up to infinity like that. Now some learners are probably gonna say, yeah, but Kevin, if I use this one, if I use this one, then it's a sad parabola. Yes, I understand that, but then this will also be different. Then it's a sad parabola, but then this is also different. So the answers that you get will be exactly the same as what we are getting over here. Yes, the graph will be sad, but then you're also changing this part here. So it will work out to be the same answers that you get. You can try that for yourself if you want, and you'll see what I mean.